Coverage continues tonight with a look back at one of the most notorious criminal cases in the state's recent history. Serial killer Jeffrey Mailhot was arrested seven years ago for the gruesome killing of three women. Tonight, the FBI is honoring one of the police officers who helped put him behind bars. From the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Naked Uosu is in Winsocket. Captain Edward Lee Jr. has worked on some very high profile cases here in Woonsocket, and it's that work that caught the attention of the FBI National Academy. Woonsocket Police Detective Captain Edward Lee Jr. is best known for his work on a case seven years ago, but not just any case. Most Rhode Islanders remember Jeffrey Mailhot, the serial killer who murdered three women. It was Lee who got Mailhot to confess. It was uh, very uh, surreal, especially when he finally uh, did admit to his crimes. Um, we never thought we'd ever encounter anything like that in the city of Woonsocket. From the Woonsocket Police Department to the FBI, Lee was nominated to spend 10 weeks at the FBI National Academy, where he'll study issues like terrorism and cyber crimes. Criminals are uh, learning different ways to uh, violate uh, the laws, and uh, there's a lot of stuff, the new technology out there, and there's new ways of doing things, and uh, I hope to get that uh, at, at, at the academy. The new knowledge plus 23 years of experience will make Lee an even greater asset to the department than he already is. Lee, a father of two, is also the son of a police awesome. officer and grew up always knowing he wanted to help people. Some of the best feelings I've ever had is bringing closure to, uh, to families of, uh, of serious crimes and uh, I, that's quite re rewarding and if I can improve on that and continue to do that in the future that would be great. Lee will head to Virginia at the end of the month and the FBI National Academy begins October 3rd. With the Mobile Newsroom in Woonsocket, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News. Stay